Hello filmmakers and we're back again with the new DJI Mavic 3 and this time this has been requested several times so I figure I'll just go ahead and do it and the question is how much of a crop factor is there between the different resolutions and I already know because I did all the tests, but I think you're gonna find this pretty surprising in, in a couple different ways. So um, yeah, let's get to it when we come right back. Okay, so what I did was I set up the Mavic 3 in a stationary shot in my living room so we could see the difference in crop factor and what we find is actually uh, relatively surprising. So now you got to excuse the fact that I was taking notes on the table that the Mavic was sitting on causing some shifting. Get, let's get around that and let's look at the actual crop factor. So I did test the different uh, resolutions at different frame rates and it, it made no difference. So where all the, the first set of tests are all done at 24 frames per second and the different resolution. So let's start with 5.1K. It fills the frame nicely, everything looks good and we'll jump to Cinema 4K. And we don't see, I mean, like I said, there, the image is shifting a little bit because I bumped the table, but there's no crop difference between 5.1K and Cinema 4K. Then when we go from Cinema 4K to regular 4K, now the sides have no difference, but if you notice the top and the bottom actually have what appears to be a crop. And that, that's not exactly true. It's the aspect ratio is different. 5.1K and Cinema 4K are a wider format than regular 4K. So there is no crop factor here. We're, we're just seeing a change in aspect ratio. So we go from 4K to 1080. Again, there, there's no difference at all. Now we jump to slow motion. Boom, look at that difference. <laughs> Between 1080 and cinema 4K, there is a huge, huge crop factor. Now we'll go from cinema 4K at 120 to 4K at 120 and we get even more crop factor, which I would have thought this would have been the opposite. I would have thought as we went down in resolution, we'd get less crop, but that's not how it's actually working. So cinema 4K, we have a huge crop factor. Regular 4K, we have more crop factor. And in 1080, it's, it's trivial and it actually doesn't look like it's much of a crop factor. It actually looks like barrel distortion. It actually looks like it's warping the sides a little bit. So, I mean, it, it, yeah, it, it just looks like it's stretching things. So that's a very weird artifact going to 1080 120. 4K 120 looks very natural. Cinema 4K looks very natural. But then when we get to that 1080, there's something about those outside edges that just doesn't look right. It's really pulling them back. So hopefully this will help you out to understand how the different crop factors work, uh, which in normal shooting modes, there isn't any. It's only when we go to the current mode of shooting slow motion. So what are we gonna see changed in January with the firmware update? Uh, who knows? But today, right now, we have this serious crop factor going on with 120 frames per second, and the higher the resolution, the less crop there is. So go figure that one out. So hopefully this answered some of the questions about um, 
the crop factor here with the Mavic 3. Uh, I know so many people are interested in really getting down to the nitty gritty on what this thing is all about and trying to decide for themselves if it's something they want to invest in. For me, it still is because I wanted that 4K 120, but I also now realize that there's going to be a crop factor involved when I'm using that. So that is something I need to consider. I'm gonna to have to back further up in order to get the same framing for now. Maybe these things will change if we get other frame rates and things down the road, but until January comes around and we see that update, we're just not gonna know. So thanks for watching, thanks for asking the question, and if there's anything else that you'd like me to test and answer for you, I'd be happy to give it a try. So thanks for watching everybody. Please like, share, and subscribe. This is Kerry with Filmmaker Central, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.